Hello, welcome back to Crazy Cat Fishing. I'm my name is Stacy. Uh, thank you for coming to watch. Uh, today we're gonna make a, a bank fish rod holders, fishing rod holders, out of a dog tie-out steak. It's very simple. Uh, like I said, most of my DIY, DIYs I do is stuff that I have around the house that isn't being used anymore for the, their original purpose. So instead of just throwing them away, I try to figure out a way of turning them into something that I can use. And I happen to be doing a lot more bank fishing uh, here recently. So I, I need some bank rod holders. Uh, I'm sure I could go to Walmart and buy them. They're pretty cheap. Uh, but like I said, I like turning other stuff into other things. And I have these laying around the house. But uh, very simple. We use these. Uh, of course, most of all, we're going to be working with fire. So you need some safety glasses. And at least a glove, a pot holder, or something because. The, the steel, metal, whatever this is, does get pretty hot. Uh, need a hammer. Some kind of hard surface. Preferably if you had a, an anvil or something, it would work really better. A propane torch. Of course, a lighter or a match, something to get the propane going. And a bucket of water. Alright. I don't want to bore too many people too quick. Oh, stay till the end. I've got to, uh, I'll show how I set these, how these can be used. And I've got a bonus uh, project I want to share. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. Safety glasses first. <coughs> now, this process doesn't really take real long you just have to use a little bit of elbow grease uh, first thing before we get started we want to heat this bend up first and bend this piece of metal up like this and then we'll heat it up again and bend it back this way and then I'll go through the last process that we have first let's get this started Fire! <laughs> I've always liked playing with fire since I was a kid. Oh, well, here we go. Turn it over. Try to get it as much of it heated up as you can. Yeah, baby. Okay. Yeah, you can put some of on. That's my little daughter, Nico. I stay home and take care of her during the day. My wife works. Uh, I'm legally blonde, so I'm a stay-at-home dad. I take care of her. I do the housework. They're warm, though. And I'm not able to just get in the truck and go fishing whenever I want. I've got to rely on my wife to take me. And after I'm done with my house chores <laughs> and pretty much taking care of the little one, I get bored, so i got to find stuff to do. And so here we are. Big mouth in this video. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for safety reasons. Once the dogs are out, and the Kiki was going to be coming out. Let's do some beat. Oh, 
Normally I would heat this back up and try this again, but we're going to straighten that out huh? as much as we can. Can? Yeah, as much as we can. Actually, you want it to be bent just a little bit. Just a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Actually, we wanted a lot more than that. Yeah. Right, go on. No, I need my thermal <laughs> Hold on, folks. Here, you slipped my other foot. I, that's what I tried. Hey, say hello to everybody on YouTube. Hello. Say Bob. hello, YouTube. Sure they are. Saying hi to us? Yeah, wave at them. Go on. Oh, right. Sorry about that, folks. When you got kids, you got to heat this back up a little more. Shouldn't take too long. We want this part that we've just bent up angled out just a little farther. Well, that's about as good as I'm getting that one. We'll make it work. Now we want to keep this bend up. I'm sorry that I ain't got a lot to say right now. I'm working with this, trying to be careful. Well, Y'all need to go back out in the yard. Huh? Go back out in the yard while I'm doing this. Hello, YouTube. That's my little fishing buddy. She likes to go fishing. He likes eating fish. Uh, actually, I asked her a lot of times. I'll give her like three choices of where her daddy should go fishing at. And uh, she chooses it for me. And I go fish it. And I'll at least catch one fish from that spot. So she's kind of like my little personal. Fishing information. <laughs> right, let's turn this off this time. And this is where you probably need the glove because you got to grab kind of close up here. And you want to bend that down at an angle so that your fishing pole don't slide out. And it looks like. Can I go by that, you? That. Huh? Yep. Okay. No, not that way. That way. That way? So I went ahead and made a, one before this just so I knew I could do it. And you see the difference. This one's angled out a little more than that one. But it's this this angle here that you're looking for mostly. Uh, I'm going to pause this. Then we're gonna move to the yard. I'll see you out there. Okay, sorry about that, folks. I accidentally turned my phone off. But as you can see, these rod holders, you can stick them two different ways. I tried this one, 
the other day. I actually made a video, and when I got home, downloaded it, edited it and everything, uh, the computer wouldn't connect to the internet so no more. So we're out of a computer right now. This is why I'm doing all of this from my cell phone. And after I made that first one, I got looking, trying to figure if I could stand it up in it. And these are seven foot long catfish poles. The butt will stick right here. And then the, uh, the handle fits up against that. So if you want to stand it up, you, you can. I don't know if I trust it or not. I'm not tried that way. But the way that when you lay it down, that definitely works really good. Uh, and they have these rings and they go all the way around. You can clip them onto your bag or your backpack, whatever it is, so that you're hands free, you're not having to carry them. Uh, here's my cat, Kit Kat. But here's the other thing. Now I've got this off of a, a catfish and carp he did a channel or I did a sorry about that <laughs> but yeah I've seen this off of a catfish and carp channel uh, I just so happen to have a cooler it, it's got wheels it's got a handle where you can carry everything uh, I'm gonna change the rod holders that I have on here, I use the uh, swim pool hose. They work, but as you can see, they're flimsy. They'll give, I'm gonna use PVC, PVC pipe in place of them. Uh, having them on the back is okay, but I believe I'm gonna angle them on the side so that my poles ain't sticking straight up. Uh, some places you just, you can't have poles sticking straight up. Uh, but it's very simple just got two long uh, bolts with nuts on the you know with nuts for them I drilled two holes for each rod holder I drilled a hole there so I could get the uh, bolt through which I believe I'll have to do with the PVC pipe that's no problem uh, but yeah you just two bolts each rod holder tighten them down and they're good to go <clears throat> now the lid on this one the reason i did this to this one is it's busted and it don't hold cold that well but you can see uh, i went the hard way i just ripped part of that out so it make it easier to get to the bolts and tighten it down uh, i have two bricks in here right now because i found if you're on an incline on a bank <clears throat> and you got your poles in there, it tends to want to flip if you're not sitting on it. Which this is all around awesome. It's mobile, you can carry it, pull it with you, you can put your tackle, your bait, your drinks inside of there, and it carries your poles and it gives you a pole holder. And you can sit on it and use it for a seat. This is awesome. I'm going to redo this, and when I do, I'll put it in one of my videos, just an update. But yeah, this is my redneck version of how to make a rod holder. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and like it and comment. See you in the next one.